and welcome to another video. My dreads turned one year old and in this video I'm going to talk about the products I have used in this first year with my dreadlocks. First I start with washing. I wash my dreads once a week and um, in the first weeks I didn't wash my dreads. I wanted to give them some time to tighten and to nut and um, yeah it's just a common advice to just not wash your dreads in the first month. Um, I didn't make it until the first month but after I think it was three weeks I did my first wash and I started using a liquid shampoo from Dolly Locks, this one and I completely emptied this bottle and I'm a bit stubborn because uh, the advice is to start washing your young dreadies with a shampoo bar. Uh, most of the shampoo bars of Dolly Locks, but also uh, some shampoo bars of Raw Roots, they have some minerals like salt added to the bar, which is very good for the locking process of your dreads. So uh, later on, I started using a shampoo bar as well. And at first I have used the uh, Dr. Bronner's uh, shampoo bar and uh, now I'm using the Raw Roots Muddy Luxury shampoo bar. And I'm um, always using this mesh bag around the bar and um, yeah, that's really helping me out. It's making the bar less slippery. I'm just doing this one around my hand and then I have all the space to uh, wash my dreadies um, and uh, at this moment I'm using both a shampoo bar and a liquid shampoo. I start uh, with washing my dreads with the shampoo bar and then I'm finishing it off I'm, I'm, then I rinse it out and then I'm finishing it off with a liquid shampoo and at this moment I'm using um, this one from Raw Roots. This is how much I've used and in the meantime I'm a bit ashamed about all the products I have because it's quite a lot. Um, but yeah I really like to test all the brands out and um, experience everything myself. Um, I've also used uh, Dr. Bronner's. Okay, that was the washing and then of course I need tools for my dreads. I'm using a crochet hook and a dread tool. And um, that's for the maintenance of my dreadies. And I've also used this comb to brush out the uh, front dreads, the dreads at the front of my head. Um, some of them broke off and uh, at first I have extended them again but later on I decided to just brush them out and um, I like it to have loose hair in the front and probably I will brush out some other dreads as well later on. In the beginning I have also used some tightening products. I have used a tightening spray mm, that's here and that's the Dolly Lux tightening spray and I have used like three quarters, um, a little less, um, of this bottle. And I've also used the tightening gel. And that's how much I used from. <laughs> that's how much much I used from this one. And um, I experienced, because in the beginning I used this one quite often, that um, my dress became very dry. So um, yeah, don't use the tightening products too much on your dress. Your hair will get um, very dry from it. And especially because my hair is bleached. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it needed um, some conditioning after that so i um, stopped using the tightening products i have used them later on when my hair was less dry again 
but I conditioned them with um, oil. At first with the Dolilux oil and I have used quite a lot of that in one year and I'm now using um, this one, the Raw Roots conditioning oil and I really like this one, um, especially in this time of the year um, when it's autumn and winter this smell really is um, herbal and yeah it's really nice and the Dolly Lux uh, oil the fresh smell is uh, lovely in spring and summer so um, yeah I'm just combining uh, those two I have used some conditioning sprays um, also from Dolly Lux and I'm using um, two scents and I'm also um, just Combining it is just depending on my mood or time of year. Um, so in total, I think I've used like, yeah, one bottle in one year. So, and uh, this Rescue Tonic from Raw Roots is also really nice. Um, I prefer the smell of the Dolly Locks or more the herbal smell of the oil of raw roots but this product is really um, helping against itchiness or uh, it's really nice when you had a maintenance and um, your scalp is a bit irritating and then it's just cooling down your skin, uh, your scalp and that's really really nice, I like that. Um, so yeah, that's all the products I have used in the last year. As I said, I'm a bit embarrassed about how much it is. But on the other hand, when I pack orders to um, clients um, and when I see what they order, I'm not the only one using so much products. And overall, I, um, I'm not using products on a daily basis. It's just uh, like an overall conditioning for my threads and that's for me that's quite important. I want to have fresh and clean threadlocks and conditioned threadlocks so um, yeah I'm spending time on that and also spending um, products on them. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Um, I've made some other videos about my threads uh, turning one year one year old as well so uh, I uh, hope you are enthusiastic to watch them uh, to watch those too uh, if you have any questions or any things you need to know about dreadlocks both uh, real dreads and synthetic dreads just let me know in a comment underneath this video I'm really happy to help you out with questions or to make other videos about subjects you're interested in um, for now, thank you for watching and of course I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!